Welcome to this video on how to capture more than one event in your graphical user interface program. My name's Andy Wicks and I'm using code that was created by Dr. Kate Finney, Dr. Chris Walshaw and Dr. Don Cal of the University of Greenwich. Let me show you the program running first of all. It's a very small program. It just has two buttons on it. The left one says press me and the right one says no press me and underneath there's a label that says a message for you and an output box. When I click on the press me button it says you pressed left. When I click on the no press me button it says you pressed right. In that way we've got a program that's reacting to two different buttons and doing different things depending on what those buttons which of those buttons was pressed. So let's go through the code for that. First of all we need to set up our controls. We're going to create the buttons. We're going to instantiate a button left and a button right. The button left is going to say press me and the button right say no press me. We're going to create a label a message for you and we're going to create an output box a text field. Having done that we're going to set up the program in the usual way and we now come to the bit of this program that actually does something. We need to set the buttons, the message box and the label to appear. And then the important thing we need to tell Java to listen out for those buttons. Make sure that Java is listening for the user clicking one of those buttons. And we do that by, for button left, we add an add action listener. And for button right, we have an add action listener. Each control that you want to do something must have its own action listener. Having done that, we now come on to the what we want it to do. If the event that's happened, which we're calling E, was caused by button left, then we want the text output have to have its text set to you pressed left. If, on the other hand, the event was caused by button right, we want the text in the output box to be you pressed right. And if we had a third control, a third button, say, we'd have a third if. And another tick box, we'd have another if. Each action gets its own if in the action performed. And in this way, you can check for as many events as you want to have. Let me show you that program running again. Here, we have two buttons. If you press the Press Me button, it says you pressed left. If you press the right hand button, it says you pressed right. A quite simple program that demonstrates a quite complicated idea.